everybody welcome to day three of vlogmas so in today's video i wanted to show you guys how we take our holiday pictures every year we send out christmas cards and because i actually work as a photographer on the side we take our own family photos usually. It's just not necessarily easier, but it works better with our schedule. So today I'm gonna to show you everything from how we plan our outfits to how I set up a room in my house for the photos. And then I will show you actually the photo shoot itself and then a little bit of how I edit the pictures. But first and foremost, I gotta fix this mug because this is just not gonna do for pictures. Typically for photo shoots, you do want to wear more makeup than you usually do, just because, especially if you're super pale like me, for whatever reason, I feel like a drag queen, but on camera it literally looks like I have nothing on. So I'm gonna kinda walk you guys through what I do here. It's pretty basic. Um, I am not a makeup artist, but I do like to do makeup. So let's get started. Sometimes the trickiest part about holiday photos is picking out the outfits. Dress the hardest person to dress first. Your kids are gonna look good in anything. Let's let's be serious, a four year old, you know, they don't have to worry about their waistline or anything like that. You can put them in whatever and that's cute. Husband, kind of the same thing. So typically mom is the one that is the most difficult to dress. So I say, pick out the outfit for mom first. You wanna make sure that you feel really comfortable and you feel like you look good and then have that as the basis for your color palette. And then pull the other outfits that you're considering and kind of lay them all out together so you see what will look the best together. Um, and this makes it super easier. And if you're working with a photographer, you know, take photos of different groupings of clothes and let your photographer decide or let her help you decide um, because they obviously are gonna know what photographs the best. This is what I have set up as of right now. So dad's outfit is set in stone because he doesn't actually have that many holiday options. I have either this dress for myself, but I don't know if I want to wear a short dress. This is an option for Sophie. And then this is another option for Sophie. So obviously it's velvet, it's plaid, it's super Christmassy, but neither one of these really goes with this kind of seafoam green color. So I do have this polka dot skirt and a black turtleneck. My only concern is that these two sh shades of plaid are gonna look not good together. But other than that, I think that this is very Christmassy, looks really cute. I know I will be comfortable in a turtleneck and this skirt, it's gonna hide any problem areas that I have. So I think this is what we're gonna be going with. This is my favorite room in the entire house. This is my little office slash studio. So it was one of those typical, well, at least for Texas, typical offices that you have right when you walk in or a music room or whatever. So we ripped out the carpet and painted everything the same shade of white. So it would essentially be like a white box. So my desk is actually on wheels so that I can move it to the side when I have photo shoots, which is amazing. Hi. <laughs> So 
I have hooks on the ceiling. Sophie and I hung up some snowflakes and we have some fake snow. So we're gonna take a couple of pictures of Sophie by herself in this outfit, then bring in Penny, and then later we're gonna do the family pictures. What do you think about your outfit? I like it better than the other one. I like it. Black tights, skirt, turtleneck. This next part is definitely the trickiest part and that is trying not to kill each other while we all take photos. So I actually set my camera up on a self timer and have it take multiple pictures and then we just take as many as we can without everybody being angry. So I'm gonna set you guys down and show you kinda what this chaos looks like. <laughs> upload all the pictures onto the computer and we're gonna pick our favorites but overall that was actually pretty quick and easy this year the dog cooperated it was wonderful okay guys so I just uploaded all of my pictures I kind of went through them quickly to just delete all the ones that had eyes closed I think I found a favorite and it's this one. I think it's very simple, it's cute. The only problem is Penny's eyes are closed. But the nice thing is that I used a tripod so I can just take this picture where she has her eyes open and I'm going to cut out her face and I'm gonna paste it on here like this. Voila, her eyes are open. Closed, open, closed, open. Definitely going to crop this. There's just too much white in the background, a little bit too much white on the floor. And then it's not as noticeable that I only put up like eight janky snowflakes. Okay, I lied, I'm back. This is actually another favorite. All right, so now I'm gonna have to make a decision of which picture that I like better. I'll probably just ask Stefan's input and see which one he likes best and then get these cards ordered. All right guys, so that's it. That kind of walks you guys through how we take our holiday pictures every year. Um, I do wish that we had taken a few more pictures. I think I was trying to be a little bit too chill about it to avoid drama because everybody was actually behaving. Um, but I think we got a good one and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the behind the scenes of what goes into taking pictures and what kind of a photographer does on the back end, editing wise to make your picture turn out perfect. Please let me know in the comments below if you're one of the traditionalists like me that likes to send out holiday pictures every year. And then, do you guys go to a photographer or do you just include pictures from maybe a vacation that you took in the year? I would be really interested to know. Um, again, if you like my channel, please subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video. I'd really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.